क्वेश्चन कुछ नहीं घबराना नहीं चाहिए आप लोगों ने कभी ओके अगर डाउट है तो पूछ सकते हो यू कैन आस्क मी टू टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स डजेंट मैटर कभी भी पूछ सकते हो अगर पूछना है तो पूछ सकते हो डरने का कोई बात नहीं है ओके सो वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक टुडे दिस इज फेज रूल फेज रूल किया हमने पहले राइट right? याद है किसी को फेज रूल व्हाट इज फेज रूल p plus f equal to c plus क्या बोला p plus f equal to c plus p p plus x f f f p plus f equal to c plus okay so what is p is x okay and f f is a degree uh, freedom degree of okay and c c is the component number of component okay so what does it tell us you know theek hai equation to barabar hai but what does it tell us what does phase rule tell us why is, how do we use it and uh, how do we use it to calculate number of independent variable number of independent variables what does it mean what does it mean practically and kaise use karenge question is that how do we use a phase rule for what purpose you can tell devendra uh, hello sir matlab in order to define the system we need uh, some minimum number of variables so we calculate it using the phase rule okay In order to define the system, minimum number of variables. So variables, what are we doing? Variables, how do we use them? I mean, with their help, we can find the variables of the other variables. Those are the minimum number of variables. Okay. And what are these variables? What are the types of variables? Rikshita. Sir, I mean, if you can say, go ahead, say it, Devendra. Sir, pressure, volume, composition. सिस्टम राइट number of phases everybody knows number of components everybody knows but what does f represent number of intensive variables to be specified yes number of minimum number of intensive variables or maximum whatever it's that's the number of intensive variables that need to be specified to completely define the system and that is only for intensive properties right intensive properties what are intensive properties what is the definition of intensive properties what is the definition of intensive properties independent of mass independent of mass which do not depend on the mass that's why pressure temperature volume Yes, <clears throat> right. So specific volume is volume per mole. Both both can be said, right? But not volume, not mass. Okay, so independent variables, intensive, both are right. And something else we have also learned, Duhem's theorem. 
याद है किसी को वट इज डू एम सेरम then we did the phase rule we did the duem serum also right simultaneously or just after phase rule what is duem serum is it clear nahi aata hai kisi ko to basic hai re yaad rehna chahiye aap logo ko hmm नहीं याद किसी को ठीक है सो लेट अस लुक एट फेज रूल एंड डू एम सेरम विच वी डिड लॉन्ग बैक एंड दिस इज फॉर व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम यू हैव कंस्ट्रक्ट अगेन नॉन रिएक्ट हां नॉन रिएक्टिंग नॉन रिएक्टिंग सिस्टम्स यू नो वी डिडंट कंसीडर रिएक्टिंग सिस्टम इट वाज ओनली फॉर फेज इक्विलिब्रिया राइट You can use it for any phase equilibrium, liquid, liquid, solid, liquid, vapor, liquid, anything. Okay, so I'm going to repeat what we had done before, just as a revision, right? So phase rule is for intensive state or intensive properties, and if you look at any um, system, the variables which you can specify for a system, suppose I take methanol water or ethanol water or ethanol methanol water so i can specify the temperature of the system pressure of the system and c minus 1 mole fractions why c minus 1 mole fractions if i take say three components ethanol methanol water right तो कितना मोल फ्रैक्शन स्पेसिफाई करना पड़ेगा टू कंप्लीटली स्पेसिफाई द सिस्टम सर टू टू व्हाई टू क्योंकि लास्ट वाला हम निकाल सकते हैं 1 माइनस करेक्ट यस बिकॉज़ टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल फ्रैक्शन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू 1 लिक्विड फेज बोला या वेपर फेज बोला x1 x2 लिक्विड है तो इक्वल टू 1 हो जाएगा सो इफ यू स्पेसिफाई c 1 मोल फ्रैक्शंस फॉर अ सिंगल फेज दैट इज Complete specifies that thing, right? So total variables is two. That is temperature and pressure. That these are two. Plus, if this p p phases, I mean, one phase के लिए c minus one more fraction specify करना. अगर vapor भी है suppose liquid and vapor phase है. भी अली देखा हमने vapor liquid equilibrium. So we need to specify c minus one into two, right? Vapor more fractions as well as liquid more fractions. So C minus one into P for P phases, where P is number of phases, right? So these are the number of variables which you need to specify for the system. And equations are essentially we have equilibrium relations between y and x, right? Which we are defined as sometimes we defined as k also. So y and x ka relation have never was, and we have one for each component. There is a vapor composition. And liquid composition. So there is a relation between y and x. The number of independent phase equilibrium equation will be p minus one into c. <coughs> Why p minus one into c? <coughs> Why not p into c? Any idea? Why it is p minus one into c, not p into c? Number of components c, number of phases p. Nobody knows, is it?
क्या हो गया किसी को याद नहीं आ रहा वाई ओनली पी माइनस वन इंटू सी दीक्षिता सर फॉर पी फेजेस पी माइनस वन हम्म ओके सिद्धि सर नहीं पता याद नहीं आ रहा है याद नहीं आ रहा है ओके लेट्स सी लेट्स गो बैक लेट्स गो बैक टू वन मोर Let me see how to explain this to you. Y and x relations the IMR, right? So we have uh, we construct two phases. Right. So we have suppose. Y one and X one. ठीक है. So we have if we specify Y and X one, X one, can we not find out Y two and X two? C components, right? Suppose C components here. I mean, two components here, two phases, two components. ओके सपोज यू टेक टू कंपोनेंट्स इथेनॉल वाटर मिथेनॉल वाटर ले लिया हमने एंड टू फेज दैट मींस लिक्विड फेज एंड वेपर फेज राइट सो इफ आई स्पेसिफाई बाय 1 एंड x1 दैट मींस दिस इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन बाय 1 एंड x1 मिल गया मेरे को राइट दिस वन रिलेशन आई हैव करेक्ट सो डू आई नो बाय 2 एंड x2 Yes, sir. Right, because I know by one plus by two is equal to one, right? And x one plus x two equal to one. So I don't need to specify anything here. It's already fixed by this one. Sonia, hello, Ungo. Any doubts? Any some? Any question? So this is what p minus one into number of components. So p is two, two minus one. So minus one into two. So two should be my answer. और दो चाहिए क्या मेरे को वो क्या हो गया एक मिनट लेट मी चेक
ओके लेट्स आपको याद है अपना राउल्स ला व्हाट इज राउल्स ला राउल्स ला याद है किसी को नोबडी रिमेम्बर राउट्स लॉ अरे इतना कैलकुलेशन किया हमने रियली का टेस्ट भी दिया आप लोगों ने अभी विराज व्हाट इज राउट्स लॉ सर पार्शियल प्रेशर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू मोल फ्रैक्शन इन लिक्विड और गैसेस अरे क्या बता रहा रे राउट सब पूछा मैंने सर पी आई बार इक्वल टू आई आई इन टू क्या पी ऑफ पार्शियल प्रेशर इज मोल्स इक्वल टू आई आई इन टू प्रेशर फॉर गैस फेज एंड लिक्विड फेज मोल फ्रैक्शन इन टू सैचुरेशन प्रेशर वेपर प्रेशर राइट दिस इज राउट्स लॉ बराबर करेक्ट है कि नहीं है सो फॉर ईच कंपोनेंट वी नीड वन इक्वेशन राइट पी वन आर इज इक्वल टू वाई वन पी इज इक्वल टू यामा वन एक्स वन पी वन एस पी टू आर इज इक्वल टू वाई टू पी इज इक्वल टू ठीक है बराबर है यस दैट मींस वी नीड टू इक्वेशंस इक्वेशन कोई बोल रहा है यहाँ पर फेजिकली इक्वेशंस 
सो वी नीड टू इक्वेशन फॉर दिस टू फेज राइट यहाँ पर दो आया आपका लुकिंग एट रॉन्ग लिहर ऐसा नहीं देखने का रिलेशन के लिए अपने को ऐसा देखने का So that's the relation, right? When we talk about relation, we are talking about Raoult's law for uh, vapor liquid equilibrium. So for one phase or two phases and two components, we need two equations, right? P1 bar is equal to y1 p is equal to gamma 1 x1 p1 s and p2 bar is equal to y2 p is equal to gamma 2 x2 p2 s. And for the of p p phases, it's going to be p minus 1 into c. ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन डाउट्स वाइट एस पी माइनस वन इंटू सी देवेंद्र समझ में आया क्या सर या सर सर वो पी माइनस वन इंटू सी को नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट फेजेस क्यों बोला है बिकॉज यू आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इच अदर ना This P1 bar does not depend on P2 bar. Right? Independent, isn't it? Sir, so uh, degree of freedom independent होता है या dependent होता है? Independent ही होता है कभी भी. Degree of freedom is always independent. That's why it is what say minimum number of variables to be specified to define a system. Sir, so uh, wo dependent hona chahiye na p minus one into c. So. Is pe dependent hona chahiye. Is pe dependent hona chahiye. Because sir, agar ham independent nikalenge, to total me se dependent ko minus karna padenge na. See, if you know these two equations, you can find the total pressure. Na? P is equal to P one bar plus P two bar. Yeah, you don't fix it. Yeah, so automatically my pressure fixes. Yeah, that ठीक है यस सर सो इफ यू टेक दिस नंबर ऑफ नॉट डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम इज नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स जो हम अब स्पेसिफाई करना चाहिए माइनस इक्वेशन व्हिच रिलेट दोस वेरिएबल्स सो दिस आर रिलेशन बिटवीन वेरिएबल्स राइट सो इट इज एसेंशियली पुटिंग दोस टू 2 प्लस c माइनस 1 इनटू p माइनस p माइनस 1 इनटू c दिया तो वी गेट f 2 प्लस c माइनस p और f प्लस p 2 प्लस c Can write any way you want it. So that is uh, phase rule. And two M theorem bola to it is for extensive and intensive properties. Phase rule is only for intensive properties. But now we, if we want to specify the whole system, we need to specify the extensive properties also. Ki kitna mass hai, right? We didn't talk about mass in the intensive properties, so we need to talk about mass when we talk about total system, right? So number of variables will be again same thing. You just add two plus c minus one to p plus p. That is, if p phases are, if two phases are, so mass how much is phase one or phase two? Mein. So we can add those two masses for the two phases, right? And then when we talk about uh, equations, constraints. You can write material balance equations because now we are talking about mass, right? So material balance equations we are expecting. Now if there are C components, right? There can be C material balance equations. Okay. So in that case, what will happen? Total equations will be पहले वाला P minus one into C plus C for component material balances. ये यहाँ पर मास ऐड किया तो बेटर ऐड दस कंस्टेंट्स पर मास
And so what we'll get is number of equations will be P into C. So if you put this one, number of variables minus number of equations, we'll get 2 plus C minus 1 into P plus P minus PC. So pencil jagger and what we get is F is equal to 2. That means minimum number of variables we need to specify is 2. That's a minimum. So F is equal to 2 plus C minus P was for intensive state. And now this is for intensive and extensive state. So I mean, F is, is equal to 2 is minimum. The answer says that if you find F here as 0, then you need to specify at least two other variables to completely specify the system in extensive and intensive properties. Right? So mass agar add karna padega yaha par to make it 2. Agar yaha par f equal to 1 hai, so we have to specify here 1. Right? 0 raega yaha par, yaha par 2 karna padega, 1 raega to yaha 1 raega. Suppose if f is equal to 2 here, then it is 0 here. That means additional kuch nahi chahiye. This is additional variables to be specified. So it is together with the phase rule only you use Duham's theorem. It cannot be used independent of phase rule. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so we had done this before. For any closed system formed initially from given mass of chemical species, species, equilibrium state is completely determined only when only two independent variables are fixed. Right? That's what I said. If intensive property F is equal to F1, at least one extensive variable must be specified. Mask is and if it is equal to zero intensive F degrees of freedom, at least two extensive variables must be specified. Same thing which I mentioned here. So it is saying together with phase rule that Duham's theorem is used. It's not used independent of phase rule. Okay. Any questions on phase rule and Duham's theorem? So this was for non-reacting systems. Right. Now we will consider for reactions. Right. So for reactions, you have exactly already for non-reacting systems. Now we know that criteria of phase equilibrium जो निकाला था पहले, we had we had read long back. Is applicable for all systems, whether the reaction occurs in it or not. It is modified for reactions, right? Because for each independent reaction, one additional constraint is imposed by these equations, right? From the reaction, chemical reaction, we have the criteria of chemical reaction equilibrium, right? So, summation of mu i into mu i equal to zero, right? What is this equation called? What is the criteria of equilibrium for reacting systems called? Which name is ka? Yeah, I think it's Minute five ka. What is it called? Yakshita. Uh, 
Siddhi, are you there? Yes, sir. No, you are there? No. No. Devendra? Sir, I don't know, but I'm talking about Gibbs Duem equation. Yes, tell me. I'm going to ask you a question about Gibbs Duem equation. Yeah, that I could. Okay, so we had choose that and we derived delta G is equal to minus RT ln K, right? So that was what it was uh, our, our criteria of equilibrium also. The number of degrees of freedom is reduced by one for each independent chemical reaction, right? Because now we are talking about reaction. So we need to have the constraint for chemical reaction, which is reducing one because this equation Delta G is equal to minus R T L N K S for each each reaction. So if there are reactions, then there are independent equations linking the chemical reaction. So what we can do is you can write F is equal to two plus C minus P, which was the minus R because now we got R additional equations for the chemical reaction. Basically, we got this is the same as the old one, and so we add additional thing which is for reaction. और इस एडिशनल रिएक्शन का इक्वेशन मिलेगा हमारे को, ठीक है? एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन इक्वेशन फोर? आर वो माइनस पी है आर को? क्या बोल रहे? तो वो आर माइनस क्यों हुआ है? बिकॉज़ सी नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स आर सेम, राइट? वेरिएबल्स आर नॉट चेंजिंग, मोर फ्रैक्शन ये वो सब सब जो हमने निकाला था विदाउट we have R reactions or one reaction, bola, suppose. One reaction, so one reaction, one constraint mil gaya ko. delta G is equal to minus R T L and K. Yeah, equation 2, jo bhi ho. So we have additional constraint which will define what is our composition. Right? K se pata chalta hai ki product kitna bana. Right? K is equal to pi of y i raised to power of nu i. Right? So there's a relation between react, reactants and products, right? Whole fractions, which we did with the calculations. So that is why we have additional constraint here, which is minus R. As much reaction will be, the additional constraint will be, because we have those, there's so many equations for K. Understand? Yes. Okay, so now other phase phase rule for reactions will be essentially same thing. Joke pehle wala tha because phase jo phase equilibrium jaake nikala tha minus the constant because of the reaction. But baaki condition same hai, right? It could be BLE, it could be anything. Doesn't matter. Phase equilibrium hai plus reaction bhi hai, right? So minus R. So that is our this rule for reactions. Okay. So now if we take, suppose you take an example of two phases, five components and R equal to one, so we'll get F is equal to four. This is substitute Okay. Now, in addition, what you'd see is, which are conditions, which are constraints. Right. Suppose we say that there's a reaction, gas phase, isomerization reaction, on the reaction, isomerization. Ka. Then we tend to also be 10, right? So K we know that is Y of product upon Y of reactant. Eleven constant we have seen the equation, right? So this is T and Y by V. T means ये आ गया K. K is a function of temperature, right? And Y and Y V. So only two of these variables are independent, right? We cannot specify all the three. टेम्परेचर वाई एंड ए वाई एंड वाई वाई एंड वाई भी डिफाइन किया तो के फिक्स हो जाता है के फिक्स किया और वाई ए डिफाइन किया तो वाई भी फिक्स हो जाता है सो ओनली टू ऑफ देम आर राइट नॉट थ्री 
since f is equal to 4 यहाँ पर 4 दिया है जो हमने निकालकर किया था we need to specify two variables in addition to n two of the above three variables right यहाँ से दो लिया और दो addition लेने का तो चार खो जाएगा ये तीनों ही specify करना पड़ेगा that will fix these three variables k y and y b temperature pressure दिया और k दिया और एक और वेरिएबल दिया तो अपना सिस्टम कंप्लीटली स्पेसिफाई हो जाएगा ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चंस इट्स जस्ट एन एग्जांपल द केस नॉट टेंपरेचर एंड वाई वाई बी आर रिलेटेड तो एक वेरिएबल कम हो जाता है उससे वैसे ठीक है so how do you determine the number of independent reactions? Because here par jo R hai, R we are talking about number of independent reactions, not dependent reactions, right? Ye jo hai, independent reactions nikalne ka. Because there are many reactions in the system. We got a call. If there are multiple reactions, how they are related, right? So now the question is, how do we determine number of independent reactions? So Haugen has defined it like this, the least number of reactions that include every reactant and product present in all phases and which account for the formation of each product from original reactants. So original reactants jo hai or products jo hai, wo sab figure karna chahiye. Also kuch procedure bhi defined kiya hai, which is to write chemical reactions for formation of each compound from its elements, right? What is the reaction for formation of water from its elements? Yoga. Eva. H2 plus half O2 gives H2. Yes. So that is the example. Okay. We have to write chemical reaction for formation of each compound from its elements. So CO banana ka to C plus half O2 is will be CO. CO2 banana C plus O2 will be CO2. So we have to write reaction for each compound. Its formation of its elements, right? Then once you write it for all the compounds, all the reactants and products, then eliminate all elements which are not present as elements by combining the reactions, right? Agar isme koi element a gaya, jo humare final reaction mein nahi hai reactant mein bhi nahi hai product mein bhi nahi hai to wo isliye limit karna padega we'll see examples of this the number of reactions obtained by this procedure is the minimum number of independent reactants because that is the procedure given we'll see all the examples and r is always greater than number of compounds present in the system reactants plus products minus number of constant elements not present as elements we will see the examples and then come back and see whether this procedure is uh, relevant or applicable. This is a procedure, we will we'll see examples of this. Okay. So we have derived this equation 4. But now in addition to this, there can be additional constraints. So special constraints may be applicable that can be used to write additional equations. Additional constraints be also can be minus karna padega margo. And S is defined as number of equations due to special constraints. Okay, and this will modify the phase rule as two plus C minus P minus R minus S. We'll see examples of this. Special constraints, kya hota hai, kaise hota hai. We'll see examples. So actually, this is the final equation for phase rule for reacting systems. Any questions? So let's solve some problems, then you'll see what how it is done. Okay, so let's look at this example. This is a very final exam. Smith's question is solved example. 
determine the number of degrees of freedom f for each of the following systems a system of two miscible non reacting species which coex which exist as an azeotrope in the vapor liquid equilibrium right so two miscible non reacting systems which exist as an azeotrope in vapor liquid equilibrium ye kar sakte hai this is this no reaction right non reacting so no reaction ke liye kar sakte hai karke dikhao let's see we have done similar example before right phase rule without reaction let's see you can do it let's see you can do it karo then we'll proceed to the next one हो गया क्या रेजर हैंड हो गया तो Yes, sir. What is the degrees of freedom? Sir, two. Yeah. Right. Good. Or who's going to get? Raise your hand. Good. Or who's going to get? Low battery. दीक्षिता हो गया और किसका हुआ दीक्षिता वैभव देवेंद्र हुआ क्या सर मेरा थ्री आ रहा था थ्री आ रहा है ओके लेट सी लेट अस सी एफ इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस सी माइनस पी राइट सो इफ यू टेकिंग टू मिसेबल नॉन रिएक्टिंग स्पीसीज तो कंपोनेंट कितना हो जाएगा हाउ मेनी कंपोनेंट टू फेजेस टू टू ओके क्या हो जाएगा फ्रीडम सर मिसिबल है तो एक फेज होगा ना हेलो या या तो फिर कैसे आया टू सिद्धि एंड दीक्षिता पेपर लिख लिख 
क्या बोल रहे वेपर लिक्विड इक्विलिब्रियम दिया है ना हां तो दो फेजेस हुए ना राइट right. ये ली दिया है सर एजियोट्रोप का कुछ नहीं होगा क्या सर वो स्पेशल कंडीशन में आएगा क्या यस एग्जैक्टली कौन बोला विराज ना good so when you talk about azeotrop y1 equal to x1 ho jata hai right we are talking about azeotropic condition right so that will become s equal to 1 aa jayega isme It's a special condition at the azeotropic composition. We're talking about azeotrope, right? A system of two miscible non-reacting species which exist as an azeotrope. That means you're talking about only azeotropic composition. You're not talking about other compositions where there is no azeotrope, right? So in this case, S is equal to one. This is an example of special constraint. Well, at that condition, we use care, right? We have used it for calculation of VLE. Yama calculation, right? So in this case, F is equal to 2 plus 2 minus 2 R0 hai minus 1. So it will be 1. Azeotrop nahi rehta. Suppose there was no azeotrop at any other composition, then it will be 2. But at azeotropic composition, there is only one degree of freedom. That means if the temperature is specific, then pressure will not be fixed. Right? Now, with the Duhem's rule, we have to do one more specific. Suppose we apply Duhem's theorem, right? This is our intensive properties, right? Temperature specific, then pressure is fixed. Pressure is specific, then temperature is fixed. But to do Duhem's theorem, apply it, then one more specific. Extensive property specify करना पड़ेगा mass किसी का देना पड़ेगा then the complete system is defined समझ में yes sir anybody has any questions on this a part बाकी बाद में करेंगे हम इस में हरी थोड़ा ये conceptual है समझना जरूरी है so there are every case is different. All these four are four different situations, four different examples. Okay. If there are no questions, we'll stop here today. And we'll continue from here after Diwali. Because from tomorrow they have like Diwali Chuttiya. So uh We'll stop here. We'll continue from here next week. Wish you happy Diwali.